enrollment for the DIY video roadmap is officially open and I would like to invite you to join. So this is my online program. It takes you from being confused to confident in your ability to hit record. Now, I opened enrollment for this program in January of this year, and I had a group of people move through it, and I'm now opening it, opening it up for another two-week period. So if you are interested in joining, then be sure to act quickly. The info is in the description below. But today, we are going to be having a channel takeover by one of my students that went through the first cohort, in January. So her name is Tatiana Denise. She is a kawaii artist living in Australia and her videos are absolutely fantastic. And she is going to be taking you guys behind the scenes to show you how she designed her set in the small room that she's shooting in, as well as how she has an overhead camera to record her actually drawing. And you're gonna see the editing style that she came out of the course with. So you'll see the graphics package that she chose and how this is unique to her branding and everything like that. So if you like what you see, be sure to join my program. And with that, I'll pass it off to Tatiana. If you have a business where you often have the need to demonstrate your process using a camera from the top, like cooking or drawing, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Tatiana Dennis. I teach people how to draw using the cute style called kawaii. So I often have the need to demonstrate what I'm doing using the camera from the top. And I also want to be able to switch from pointing to my face, to doing a drawing demo, and then back to the front camera for any closing thoughts. One of the most common questions I get asked by my fellow artists, how do you record these videos that you make using the overhead camera? So in this video, I'm going to share exactly the setup that I use, which gear to get, and how to light your set so that it looks good whether you're shooting from the front or whether you're shooting from the top. And possibly you could even switch between the two on a fly if let's say you're doing streaming or teaching a workshop. So come on over, I'll show you. Step one is to find your filming set. I work from a small room in my house. So at first I felt that my set options were very limited. Plus there are all these windows with light bouncing around in places where I do not want it. I tried to set up against the back wall, but it looked way too busy with all the doors. Then I tried to set up against the window, but it was so bright and blown out. I even tried to set my table under an angle to get some depth with the corner, but none of it seemed to work. So I had to stop trying so hard to find a perfect set. And I just had to ask myself, if I wasn't setting up a recording studio, where would I put the desk? Where's the most comfortable spot? Where's the best light? And that's how I landed on this set. And it's perfect. It looks good in the camera and I enjoy being here, which is important because this is where I normally work during the day as well. So go ahead, have a look around your space and try a few locations. Find a place that is comfortable and it doesn't even need to be so big. You could have a completely blank background and it would still work. Step two, set up your front facing camera. So your front camera is just a regular camera on a regular tripod. Just make sure that it's sturdy. This is where I plug in my lavalier mic and a USB cable to connect the camera with my laptop if I'm streaming. So here it is looking over my set. Step 3. Set up your overhead camera. For the overhead camera, you need a regular tripod, but with an attachment called sidearm. I got mine at B&H for about $120. Actually, my dad got it for me and he shipped it to Australia. I also highly, highly recommend getting something called continuous power supply. It's a little box that goes into the battery compartment of your camera and plugs into the wall because nothing is worse than running out of battery in the middle of your shoot. Step 4. Light your set. The lighting setup is super duper simple. It's just two soft boxes for about 50 bucks and a ring light and together they light the entire set. The ring light is handy to light the desk from the top so you can do your demo even if it's dark outside. How would you use overhead video in your business? How would it change things? 
drop us a comment below. We would love to know more about you. Thanks for watching and check out my YouTube channel Tatiana Dennis for drawing tutorials and to see this setup in action. And thanks to Amanda for making this amazing course. So make sure to check it out next time it opens and see the same transformation in your business. How awesome was that, y'all? I love seeing the transformation of where she started and where she is today. And one thing she didn't mention because it has happened since recording this first video is that she got her first book deal. So since releasing consistent video content, this has happened. And it's just amazing how quickly it happens. And she started just where you are today, feeling a little bit in, not confident necessarily in the way that she was able to record these videos and turn them out on a consistent basis. So if you are interested in getting results like that, then I would love to welcome you to the DIY video roadmap. So follow the link in the description below and I'll see you on the inside.